Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, we've been showing people how to get aim assist on mouse and key using an app known as Read WASD. This is a paid app, but there is a free trial if you want to try it before purchasing. You can find it at readwasd.com. For the past year, I put a lot of work into these configs and been releasing them to the community. The configs are always free. You can find them linked in the description below right here. Today we're going to be talking about Warzone. The config I've created uses a lower sensitivity. It's really sticky and I've also added a Cronus like jitter to it that will jitter and then activate drift the direction you're aiming at a diagonal. And I'll explain a little bit more of this when we get in game and how it works and what's going on. And you can change these values to make it last longer or shorter time and activate drift faster when you're moving your mouse. So it's activated by mouse movements. Uh, the sensitivities are a lot more customizable in this config. So when you get in, you'll be able to adjust everything in rewise will change the way this feels. Every every sensitivity in game will change the way this feels from controller to mouse. The way I've done this config is a lot different than usual. If you need help with setup, you haven't you haven't set this up before. You need to go to my playlist. You'll find them on my video page right here, and click how to use rewised. This first video here is a short tutorial about two minutes to get your mouse and keyboard set up properly the rest of them are full also full of tutorials for specific games it helps to follow these before you get into downloading the newer configs just so you have a good understanding of what's going on within the app like i said the config will be linked in the description below don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you find this helpful Let's jump in game and I'll talk about the settings and how this new config is going to be working, especially when aiming. All right, now that we're in game, let's go over the settings. Obviously, we're going to be running on controller, but I believe that the mouse settings also will affect the way this works. Uh, maybe not particularly, but just in case, this is this is my setting right here. My ADS sends multiplier, that's what I have it set to currently. You know, I haven't really tested this. I know in Apex it doesn't lock input, so it uh, it definitely affects the way the most recent Apex config feels. But uh, the most important part is the controller setting. So first things first, we got, you're gonna set your aiming input device to controller, obviously, because we're using controller sensitivity for this config. Button layout, this is important. You wanna be set to default. Default button layout. If if you're not set to default, some some controls may be off and not close to to normal controls for mouse and keyboard. All right. So as you see, the difference in uh stick sensitivity this time, we're going eight eight and a two sensitivity multiplier for aimed out sights. You can raise these or lower these. This config works well with almost any sensitivity. It's just gonna be it's obviously gonna get significantly faster if you raise it way up. All, all these settings are really kind of important. It changes the way your sprint and tactical work um, on controller because a lot of the buttons use double inputs. So I use shift to sprint in this game. You know, you could cut this auto on if you want. It's up to you. Um, ADS plus melee for weapon mount activation. That's so when I'm aiming, my melee is going to be the button that I mount with. And I usually use that on side mouse button. This is all preference, but this is these are things that you change in order in order to get it feeling like more like mouse and key. So interact the reload behavior is really important. You you definitely want to be on one of these prioritized ones cuz it makes it when you reload or interact they're both tap unless they're available together. So unless you have to reload and interact with something at the same time, for instance a door and there's a gun on the ground, then they will both be tap always. So you want one of these prioritized ones. All right, so on to the advanced controller controller options. Aim assist type, I'm set to default. Aim response curve, I'm on linear with this config. ADS sends multipliers, one. Transition timing, instant. Inputs dead zone. 
These are a little bit different than the last one. Not too much, just with the movement, because, you know, you want movement activated the second you, you start sprinting and stuff. So we got left stick min on zero. This is your movement stick. Right stick min on zero. That's your aim stick. Left stick max, 0 0.05. And this is different from the other configs. It still works fine, so I left it here. Right stick max one. And then your trigger dead zones are both zero. Controller orientation, obviously, up. Make sure gyro is off, because if gyro is on, it will turn off aim assist, and you will not get aim assist. We already went on over some of these movement behaviors. Just go through these and make sure you know they they are what you want. Like I said, a lot of a lot of buttons are double inputs, like prone and and crouch and dive and stuff. So they're all the same button. So we have to go through here and figure out what you want for this. This is another important control, especially if you're playing Warzone or Rebirth. And it's backpack alternate control. You're gonna want this to on, and then you're gonna loot with W A S D. Melee should drop all, and space should drop singles. But you want this on, or else you're, you're going to have trouble looting. But let me, uh, let me jump into a firing range for you real quick and show you exactly what's new with this config and what's going on. Obviously, the sensitivity is way different. We're using a lot lower sensitivity. So it's good to know you don't get full aim assist in here. Like, if you go a certain way, you can get aim assist on these dummies. But I'm not getting aim assist here. I just want to show you what this is doing. So when we aim down sights, you'll notice if you flick, there's a little jitter and then you catch drift when you stop your mouse. So this is different for each direction. I drift this way, left drift that way, right drift, or left drift that, right drift that, whatever, you get it. But you see a little shake when you flick. Now if you, if you move just a little bit, it's not gonna do this. That way it's not activated every, every time you're going to aim. But if you flick, you'll see. You'll see a jitter, and what this is going to do is stop you dead on a person, especially when aim assist is active. And then that drift that's going once you stop your mouse is going to keep you on that person. I haven't perfected this. This is just version 1 of the config, but I plan on working on this some more just get the perfect, to get the perfect setup for this. So if you want to change these settings, come to Discord, and I'll explain a little bit more to you about it and, and how to change these settings. It, it's not too hard. It, you know, just a couple, a couple, uh, a couple little timing settings you got to change. And if you come to Discord, like I said, I'll link it in the description below. If you come to Discord, just ask me, you know, how how to change this. You know, make the make the jitter longer or shorter. You can, so you can make this as shorter where it just does it, where you can barely see it, and it just starts drifting instead, instantly. Which is the way just having that drift at the end of the flick is gonna make activate a lot stronger and you'll see in the gameplay obviously but uh yeah low sensitivity no problems turning no problems flicking a lot smoother than it than it has been in the past with less acceleration it's more one-to-one -one. really like it. but yeah as you can see i can hit these target dummies with no aim assist But yeah, before I jump in the gameplay, uh, I made a quick, quick graph. You know, if you couldn't see what was happening, uh, you know, here. But, but basically, a bunch of this, a bunch of this, and then that way, a bunch of this, and then that way, a bu bunch of that, and then that way. <laughs> yeah, this, this graph, graph is up for debate. So yeah, you sue me.
only dropped 23 kills. Okay, that's terrible.